Thing. My connection, oops, no, I don't want to rotate, to see how good it is while um, delivering chips. Hang on, bear with me. Take this way, let's see if it goes with it. Let's see, let's see if you go on. Ah. Hey, hey. Sorry, bear with me, trying to, trying to set this up so that I can uh, drive. No idea how it actually works same time. How you all doing? All right. Ah, got a nice nice sunset scene here in Phuket. Hey, Tony Dixon. All right. Um, I've no idea how the signal, this is literally just seeing how it goes. Um, am I going to be able to live stream just on my mobile data? It would be interesting to find out. So the uh, thing is, I thought I'd be able to use this. Um, sorry, it's going to have to be um, this uh, uh, rotate device. <laughs> Not the most deal thing. Ah, okay, now I get it. Right. Sorry, I just I just sussed out how to um how to, how to fix this in. Right. Hopefully we can do some driving and talking at the same time. But, uh, ah, yeah. this on. Anyway, talk to me guys in chat, let me know how it's going. Are you all enjoying being locked down? Wedge this in here, right? We'll talk and drive at the same time. And uh, oh man, well they're really ramping it up here as far as the um, the COVID things go. COVID things goes. Uh, you know, it was relatively tranquil here compared to what I experienced in the UK. Hi, world of that curve. Sorry about the jitteriness. I'm just trying to set this up so I don't. Um, but yeah, um, you know, it's like, um, unfortunately I've gone into the habit of wearing and taking a mask with me. I mean, you might see as we drive, but it's funny, because it's ironic because you'll see people on mo If only they could get people wearing um, helmets while they're riding on motorbikes, as, as well as they've um, influenced people to wear masks. I mean, the thing is, people have got this impression that, um, you know, it's floating around in the air and you'll just get it because it you know it's just like it is it's gone you know like i said it was it was okay for a while but you know you, you could go into the mum and pop shops without a mask but now everywhere you go everyone's got a mask on wherever they are outside whatever they're doing you know so um it's um and of course me being a foreigner if i'm not wearing one I'm even more of a kind of, um, you know, stick out like a sore thumb kind of thing. And, uh, well, anyway, so, uh, it, it, who knows? But I, you know, I am working on a, working on a, a more in-depth video, uh, investigating behind some of these stories uh, that we're seeing in the newspapers where, uh, you know, it's, it's become a, you know, some some other mysterious death is passed off as COVID and blah, you know. In fact, the treatment, I think, you know, I've been looking into the treatment that they give you. It's the, the treatment is killing people off when, you know, if you're stuck on a ventilator for two weeks or something, being sedated, um, the, the complications and side effects from, from that are, well, basically, you know, you can, it can really mess up your lungs, you know, it just, 
you can you if, if you're on a ventilator it's possible that your lungs will collapse that's one of the side effects that you can easily get and you can damage they can start leaking it's just not that so the thing is there they are trying to treat people with when you've got a, a cough or a cold if you've got something in your lungs you want to cough it out you want to get it out yeah your body works to get rid of it in in various ways yeah but of course you know if you're there and you're i think they kind of the, the decision to put you on a on a ventilator is like well they're doing this with people that are still coherent they're still able to talk and it's like you know so they're actually saying right we're we're, we're gonna you know the plan is to sedate you so that we can stick you on a on a ventilator and, and of course, you know, that you get things like pneumonia and then you have to start treating that. And all this while, the body is not, the body and the mind are not working properly. Or the body and the brain, maybe, you know, they're not working properly because they're all drugged up. So it just complicates the issue while your body is trying to, you know, get better. And what would a vaccine do anyway? Well, it's supposed to train your immune system to deal with it. Well, I tell you what, if someone gets it, just let them let them let their immune system deal with it and it's probably better than uh, you know sedating them with all kinds of uh, opiates and sticking them on a ventilator and um another interesting thing there was a particular story about this kind of so-called healthy person and um he, it made me wonder about his work environment because it seems to be um you know he's working in a dusty environment and you look into that and it's like, well, you know, dry, you know, fucking snack foods. So here's a guy working in a warehouse uh, in a, for, for the, you know, a big, one of these big, you know, cereal snack food producers. And so, um, you know, what if he's doing that for 20 years and he's not not wearing any protective equipment usually and he's, and he's breathing in, you know, this fine dust particles and they can carry pathogens and allergens and what have you. So, um, you know, the possibilities are endless. So, oh, hi, Ryan. Hey, how's this all coming through? Do let me know. Um, water's above the firmament. Hi. Uh, you know, as I'm driving, are we, are we getting, um, oh, shit, I shouldn't have gone there. Hang on. I'm only allowed to turn when it's safe. I'm allowed to go against the red light. But anyway. Um, oh, hi, Russ. Uh, so it's nice to be taking you around Phuket as the sun sets. Um, we're on the we're near the west coast, uh, and it's uh, it's quite quiet compared to how it used to be. But you know, this time of year, high season, we'd have masses of tourists. Uh, of course, um, there are hardly any any tourists. Peter Fellows, yeah. Yeah, uh, if, yeah. I basically let's put it this way. I would say that yes, I would agree or go along with that. COVID is something, is a whatever, um, and of course, yeah, it's it's a type of flu, and uh, you know whether the testing, whatever. You know, there's it's it's one of the, it's one of the, it's basically it's all been blown way out of proportion yeah so again i'm quite this is great here and there's a red light but i am allowed to turn i love going past this all the star that all the sparrows are up there on the on the scene yeah. so yeah um i feel very fortunate actually to have gotten out of the uk when i did the lucky stars thankful and grateful to all the oh. I was going to, ah, I'm back. I was going to say that the, um, even though they're doing the whole mask thing and, and hand washing, there doesn't seem to be the same drive for vaccines. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of, you know, that that's not necessarily the, the be all and end all of it. How are we doing? Are we still broadcasting? What's that? 
Hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be parking up so I can... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be parking up so soon. Got my daughters on the school volleyball team, so they've done quite well. They've, they've already gone and uh, won, a, they've won the year's championships again. For the, the, so, you know, that didn't stop. They were still able to go and do that. You know, thank goodness, even though, you know, they were all taking all the precautions and everything. Uh, right, hang on. Am I allowed to go up there? Can I squeeze through? Let's see if I can squeeze through. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, um, they've done well, this, this school. Uh, it's done well and uh, beating out all the other schools in Thailand basically they are the champions so they you know do you remember you know the um, the, the, the football thing where you know the guys the, the football team got stuck in a cave in Thailand remember that well you know I mean to the Westerner to Europeans and stuff it might have seemed, seemed weird that you know this team spends so much time together and uh, you know, with their coach and going off to do that. But that's exactly what happens with um, my daughter and, and her team here. You can maybe see them now. Yeah, they, they, um, hang on, let's turn the car off. They, they spend a huge amount of time together. Sometimes they, you know, they, they, if they're coming up to a competition, then they'll, 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 you know, they, they spend the night in, you know, at the, at this, place kind of together as, as a group and they do everything together they eat together they uh um uh you know and so they get up early they go and training in the morning and then they're, so they're here they're doing an hour or so before school and then they do school and then and then in the afternoon so uh yeah Yeah, isn't it weird? You know, they talk about the mutations, and of course, um, you know, uh, of course, it's just, oh, it's just, yeah, we, we knew it was coming, COVID 20, 21, 22. It'll be never ending. They've, you know, this is it. They've, of course, we could see right from the start, you know, when this was all coming out, the media, none of, no one in the, in the mainstream media was asking the right questions. They were all asked, they were, you know, they were getting distracted by the, um, uh, you know, of course, you know, they're, they're, it's like, once they got them onto the story of, of, you know, yeah, basically once they had people demanding this or that, then, then of course, oh, it's just, the media is, the media has done a, they've just whipped up this frenzy, haven't they? And of course the politician, it's just, you know, such a, it is a cleverly coordinated effort. It really is. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, this is it. You know, like I said, I mean, I've got, I've got no doubt that it's something, something real. It's a bug you can get. You know, you, I, I have met people who have, you know, have, have, you know, got relatives or whatever that, 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 um, uh, you know, they, they've caught it or they've, they've had the symptoms and then they've gone to get tested and they've tested positive. So okay, but of course, it's, it's not fatal for most people yeah and that's the thing um it's it is just yeah we you know it's like yeah uh but uh the thing is here it, it is it has felt different to the uk you see even if and when they do lock these places down life still pretty much goes on as normal in in so many ways you know it you know supermarkets don't suddenly run out of food because because thailand has so much of its own produce and there's so much locally done that you know and and we're um uh yeah it's all uh it's all kind of a lot it, it's so it's so decentralized here that um that you know it you know things like lockdowns don't make don't have too much of an effect on people. Obviously they have, I was speaking to a guy today who's, you know, looking at um, business ideas because he used to be in the tourism industry. And of course, yeah, there were, there were a lot of people that made a lot of money from the tourism industry, but now, yeah, you know, they're screwed. So um, Ryan says, flu season is real. It happens twice a year as many people, yeah. 
<laughs> Those Doug, Doug723. Yeah, it's so... I know, I know what you're saying, Doug. Yeah. Yeah, total control. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is it, you see. You know, what they've done here is is provincial heads, provincial chiefs, uh, mayors or whatever they are, they are allowed to... So there's 72 provinces, or so, I can't remember, 70 plus provinces in Thailand. So each provincial chief or administration is allowed to decide for themselves where, whether they lock down their province or not. So, uh, for example, in Phuket, they haven't locked it down, but over the New Year period, they were there's, there's, there's a one bridge that you can come in to Phuket on. A one one main road so there's a there's a checkpoint there and so what they were doing was at the checkpoint is they were checking people's temperatures and if they had a temperature it wasn't full-on covid test but if they had a temperature then they would if someone had a temperature then they would be turned around so there was this kind of the you know the control of but they're, they're genuinely you know it's like ah. Oh. The thing is, you know, Thailand is is was kind of in the spotlight for it. You know, it was considered by these people who re made these models as as one of the places that was was gonna be um, very tough to deal with um, because of its porous borders and 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 what have you. But actually, they've dealt with it very well. Um, of course, they you know uh, again whether you believe what it is or not. Um, the, the thing is, they they've they've been very effective and of course i was i was a victim of that i had to go through three tests and several procedures just to get back so this whole thing has also been a bit of a kind of like kind of separating the wheat from the chaff kind of thing you know there's other people here that are now they're trying to oh it's just yeah um there's a whole bunch of other consequences from it yeah yeah well, this is it, you know, I mean, I, I it's, oh, who, again, who knows, who knows, but it's, yeah, either way, whether it exists or not, it is, of course, yes, uh, affecting so many people and it is, is, it is, it's making everything difficult for everyone, for so many people, but at the same time, it's also, you know, um, in, in so many, there, there are, you know, Oh, change, change is inevitable, right? I mean, you know, we can... In, in weird ways, though, there are positive things that come of it, you know? Um, uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's a thing for later. Hey, John. Hi. Yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, so I was thinking, you know, okay, so yeah, if it, this is something like, if this is, if this is something that attacks the lungs, then, you know, what about inhalations of things like, uh, tea tree oil, you know, uh, tea tree oil is an antiseptic. So if we are talking about pathogens and they, those pathogens in our body need to be killed, then, you know, these traditional methods could well work. But of course, as I, you know, I was saying, it's i think the people that are dying in hospital are dying because of the treatment and I, I have done half a video i've done quite a bit of well as much research as i can obviously i'm very busy but um i'm doing some research there and putting a, a video together about um about this but let's just get down a second and um oh. see all the, the bully pool the kids getting a getting a pep talk So that's, that's the team having their pep talk. Yeah. He's, he's a very good, very he's a very good coach. Very good. You know. Uh, anyway. Let's turn this around. Oops. Hey. All right. Well, this is so nice to know this is working out here. It's brilliant. Let's see if we can give you some uh, 
jungle background sounds as well. All right. Ah, where's that? I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, really. Uh, if 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 this um if this stream is is going okay, uh, then I'll do I'll do more of these now. I've just because I just went to the the, the 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 phone shop today and got them to sort it out because I hadn't been able to use my mobile data. So hopefully that's that's all working out now. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm delivering chips again, <laughs> uh, as well as doing other stuff. But uh, uh, it's it's working out. We've got there's a lot of expats here that still want their fish and chips. So um, yeah, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's really nice. You know, it's actually um, you know to be food something people need i'm just keeping it simple i just you know i don't want to go and i just you know I'm, fish is, is like you know as far as i i'll go with uh, animal products um, yeah i won't i won't be doing other other meat yeah but, uh, yeah so yeah so it's nice to be able to kind of give you an insight. So I was going to say, you know, this this volleyball team. Do you remember the football team that got stuck in a cave? Or, you know, it's they they are, you know, when when they're doing this teamwork, working as a team, they really do live and work as a team. Uh, so, um, you know, my, I don't have much time with my daughter because she's always doing stuff here. But then again, you know, she gets very disciplined. So. As you can probably see, everyone else has got a mask on. I'm probably the only one without a mask here. But, um, yeah. That's my daughter. The blue. <laughs> so that's their little routine when they go home. The younger ones pass by the older ones. <laughs> anyway, I'll say goodbye for now and thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe we'll do a few more, few more of these uh, from the from the beach and do some some ob observations. Uh, and uh, good servant, fish and fish. <laughs> Fish and fries. No, we don't do fries. We don't do French fries. It's chips. I mean, as in as in English chips. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to take care of my daughter. Lovely to catch up with you all. Thanks for coming in. And um, yeah, uh, we'll speak soon. And there's some more in-depth, column, more researched videos coming soon. So please stay tuned for that. And I hope you're all really having a. I hope you're all well, basically. I hope whatever you're doing is is, is kind of getting you through this time, and, and uh, you know, whatever happens, more people will wake up from it. There's that that's a positive thing. There are a lot of positives in this, so uh, y'all take care. We'll speak soon. Okay, cheers.